Okay, so we're going to finish this problem. We just did a, the acceleration because it was the slope of this section from 10 to 12. We are now going to get velocity, which is this graph, right? But we only want the velocity of this part right here, which means we want the equation of that line right there. Well, 10, the ordered pair 10, 0 is that point. And, and if you want to write this one down, you can, but you really only need one of them. So I'm going to use this as my point, and acceleration is my slope of that, right? So uh, we got y, which is v of t minus 0, because that's the y value. I'm doing the point slope formula. It's going to equal negative 20, which is my slope, times, and I'm supposed to use t because we're dealing with v and t, t minus the x value, which is t up here, t minus 10. So this right here would be fine for your equation. Or if you want to solve for v, you go ahead and put v equals that because v minus 0 is 0. But that is your velocity equation right there. If you want to distribute negative 20, you can do that as well. And then the last thing we're supposed to do is write down the, the distance s of t from the ground that's valid. So we need to get the s of t value. And do you remember we're going from 10 to, 10 to 12, right? So what that means is we're doing the integral from 10 to 12 of velocity, okay? The integral from 10 to 12 of velocity, which would equal the position at 12 minus the position at 10. Now, I think that would probably be fine for the answer, but we, we could also write it a different way in that this is the initial part, right? So we could take this thing and we could add this to the other side over here and say this is S of 10, okay, S of 10 plus, and then we could make this an integral from 10 to some time T that we could say we don't really know what the time T is, even though it's, we're talking about 10 to 12. And then we could say that this is the integral of VT. Well, isn't it this thing over here, VT right here? So we can put negative 20 times 10, t minus 10, parenthesis, parenthesis, dt. So we can write it like this. I think they would count this top one right. Um, I'm not really sure why we wouldn't put, I, I think I'd probably just go ahead and put the 12 in here too, because that's where we want it from, right? From 10 to 12. But this is the velocity function from 10 to 12. Okay, I can't read that very well. That's minus 10. All right, we're going to go do a couple, actually, let's, let's see what's on the next page here. All right, we got one. All right, we got a uh, multiple choice problem here we're going to do. Let's read this thing. It says that uh, the, you know, hold on a second. Okay, so this says a particle moves along a straight line with a velocity. So again, this, we got a velocity, meters per second, where t is the time. At t equals five seconds, the particle's distance from the starting point is six. Uh, what is the, oh, there's key wording right there, total distance. So when you see a total distance problem, you need to know total distance. That tells me the answer just from looking at them right now. The total distance is the absolute, I'm sorry, the integral from A to B of the absolute value of V of T, V, T. So the only thing, and again, do you see that it says from 5 to 10? So there's your A, your A is 5, your B is 10, and it's absolute value. So that right there tells me this is total distance right there, and I'm done. Okay? Going on to the next multiple choice, a particle moves in a straight line with this velocity in meters per second. And uh, this one says uh, where t is the time in seconds. At t equals 2, the particle's distance from the starting point is 10 in the positive direction. What is the particle? Oh, displacement. This, this means we're doing, again, it, now, displacement, if you remember, I'm abbreviated this, is going to be the integral from A to B of this regular old velocity, dt. Now, we want the displacement from 2 to 9, so all these have that in there. But all we want to know is how far is it moving, or where from, 
from where it is at two to where it is at nine, what would be the distance it moved? Well, it's not that, that's total distance. That's total distance plus nine. Don't know why they got that. And this is going to be how far it moved from two to nine plus ten. Well, we're not going to add ten because we, this is not asking us where it ended up. This wants to know how far did it move from two to ten. So this would be a B answer. And then we got this last example. This last part, uh, we're trying to uh, put stuff into words so that we can figure out what all this stuff is. So we need to know what these things are talking about up here. Let me move this down. Okay. There we go. All right, so the position of a particle on the x-axis and feet from the origin is given. So we need to know we're talking in feet by x of t. So that's the position function. The velocity of the particle in feet per second, so that tells me t is in seconds, okay? Is given by v of t and acceleration is acceleration. So I know that t is in seconds, and I know that uh, position is in feet. Okay, for each of the uh, for each of the integral expressions, give the following table, interpret its meaning by filling in the missing part. Okay, so x of two means that this particle. Uh, well, you see this integral deal right here. All right, this integral deal right here means that the integral of the derivative of x is going to be x of four minus x of two. Okay. So we want to know that what does an integral of x prime give me? Well, that gives me regular old x. So we need to know that this is a position. This is the position function that when you do the integral of the derivative of x, you get back the x of t, the position. And we want to know what are the units. So position is without the time, it's just feet. Okay, and I think it tells you right there, it's in feet when you're dealing with position. Coming down here, we're going to do the integral from 1 to 4 of x prime of 4. And this says change of position in the particle. And again, this is, again, integral of x prime. So this is feet. And we would say this would be the change of the particle in feet from t equals, I think that's a 1, to t equals, I think it's a 4 seconds okay coming down here see the absolute value just that thing so that means total distance but if you look we're taking one over four minus one this should look like something we had in eight one so when we take one over b minus a of a to b of something this is the average this is an average so we're going to say this is going to be the average Okay, just so you know, this is seconds, right? Four minus one seconds. And this thing in here is feet per second. But when we do the integral of feet per second, we get feet. This is total distance. So this is total distance in feet when you get it, but you're dividing it by three seconds. So this is still feet per second. So this is a little, a little tricky. So feet per second is the speed or velocity. So we would say the average speed or average velocity in of the particle, I guess we'd say, or we could say in feet per second, but that's what this is coming from. But that's why this is feet per second, because when you do this part, you get feet out, but when you divide it by that three seconds, that puts that seconds back in there. And then we would say from, and we go back and look at the bottom to the top, T equals one, two, four seconds. Okay. It'd be okay up here to put uh, the position. Yeah, this would be the position at four. All right, coming down here. Now this is a position at four, and then we're going to add four, four to two, a velocity. So this one is a this one is also a little tricky. But again, if I do the, this is already position, right? And if I do the integral of velocity, that gets me back to position. So we're gonna take this position plus this position, which means I am getting a position. So this is a position of the particle. Okay, and then this says in feet from the origin. 
So they're telling me what that is, and I want to know at what time. Well, this one is tricky because they flipped it over, right? They flipped this thing over, and so it's the top number is where you're stopping. So this would be at t equals two seconds. So we're getting the position of the function at two seconds. So this is kind of a crazy one. Okay, right here, I'm getting an integral from A to B, which I, I, I don't know if I wrote it up there somewhere, but we had it a minute ago. This is going to be total distance. This is gonna be the total distance. This is the deal when you do total distance, absolute value of velocity from one time to another time, which is time one to four. And when you do total distance, the, the integral of velocity is position. So this is in feet. This is in feet. So it's the total distance this object traveled in feet from the time t equals one to four. Okay, I see this thing in front again. This is telling me it's an average, which he's already written down for it. It's the average acceleration. And why? Well, if I do the integral of this, this is velocity, right? When you do the integral of acceleration, you get velocity but this is seconds again. So this is feet per second per second. So this is average acceleration, okay? Because velocity is feet per second per second. And then it says, what are your units? Well, I just told you, we have feet per second per second, or you can put per second squared. And we would get this is from the bottom number to the top number which is going to be from t equals one to t equals four seconds. I think that's the last thing we had on this. It is. So that's all those notes. Good luck on your second homework. And I will see you in class next